Hello, hello, hello. Da da da. Hmm. Oh my gosh. This freaking light. Um, hi everybody. How are we doing today? One of my ring lights is literally just broken and not freaking working at all. So we might have to go just like no lights. No lights at all. Just darkness. Um, I don't know. I'm trying to connect it still. I'll keep doing troubleshooting in the meantime. But hello, everybody. How are you? How are you? Um, hi, Jay Lopez. Hi, Coco. Um, hi, Supreme. Hi, Richitoku. Uh, hi, Lamar. Hi, Elite. Um, hi, Gato. Hi, Faith. Hi, chatting. Hi, Blad, or Blade. <laughs> Sorry, your three is an E. I in in three E we believe. I don't know what I'm talking about. Let me change out of my kind of fancy earrings into my regular ones. Why? I am getting so mad with this freaking light. I don't understand. Add IP ma manually? How do I... How do I know what the IP for my freaking... For my light is? I'm a bit confused. Manually connecting, yes. Yes. Check the steps, what? How am I supposed to know? How am I supposed to know what the IP address of my ring light is? This is stupid. This is stupid. One of my ring lights is connected just fine. So I I don't know. Um, M digs would seem to hydrate. Cheers. How was my oil painting class? Honestly, hard as hell. <laughs> pretty hard I freaking I show up okay like me I've never taken an art class in my life I don't really consider myself a super artistic person but that's why I'm taking the art class right I pull up first of all it's like all older people and a good chunk of them are like yeah I've painted like my whole life yeah yeah I've just been painting for the last like 40 years <laughs> Like, I don't know what I thought. I guess I kind of forgot that, like, I don't know. I forgot that this class is during the day, so it probably makes sense. Because it was, like, a lot of, like, retired older people. And I don't know. I was, like, I was, like, feeling like I was so worried. I was, like, oh, my God, there's going to be, like, some really good people. Forgetting that there's, like, because I feel like there's, like, a difference between someone who's just, like, naturally talented at painting and someone who's been, like, painting for fucking 40 years. So, yeah, I don't know. I I was just. I don't know. I, I, I was definitely the least experienced person, but I was also, like, the only, like, non... Like, because not only were these people enjoying painting, right? Like, all of these... All these people had, like, creative careers. One of the ladies in the class was talking about how she was an artist and owned her own art gallery for, like, a few decades. Uh, nothing, nothing... No big deal. Just owned her own art gallery for a few decades, but... But then she was like, oh, but she, like, lost her art gallery. The way that she said it made it sound like, um, it was like, I don't know. It, it, I felt bad for it. Anyways. But anyways, that's who I was taking the class with. Those are the people who I was taking the class with. And so, meanwhile, I'm out here busting, like, the, and so, it's such, it was such a big disparity. Like, I feel like a lot of the people, basically, I think, I, th I like, like, I'm trying to, trying to think of how I want to. I can't. Why are experts taking a class? I, I feel like it was more like they this was like a space for them to paint and meet other artists. Because I was over here being like, how do I paint these rocks? Like, I don't even know. I was like, 
<laughs> Everyone's out here. He's like, okay, we're just gonna start. Just start laying down your paint. Just start, like, you know, like, just start putting it based off of the value. So, like, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, what do you... What is the, what do you mean value? And he's like, oh, like how light or dark it is. I'm like, okay, okay, I got it. Bro, bro, the, and the professor was like, <laughs> the professor was like, oh yeah, I'm just gonna do a quick demo. Within, within like 10 minutes, this man had a full on landscape painting. I was literally sitting there like, like you're, I felt like I was getting clowned on. I felt like I was getting, bro, my eyes are watering again. I seriously, I don't know if it's the lights or something, but. Hold on, let me get my, let me put my eye drops in. I literally think it's because this light is like fucked up. Um. Anyways, I felt like I was getting clowned on. I felt like there was gonna be cameras coming coming out or something because I was like, I am not anywhere at the level. But but whatever, it's fine. I'm still gonna come for all the five weeks. Oh yeah. So he was like, he's like, oh, let me just do, like, let's just, like, do a, a quick sketch or something. And, like, this is what this man painted in five minutes. In five minutes. Like, you can't really see the canvas was, like, pretty decently sized. Like, he just painted this in literally five minutes. He's like, yeah, just, like, just start throwing the paint on there. Like, f he did that in five minutes. I was so shocked that I literally had to take out my phone out and take a picture. <laughs> because I was like what and it was uh, and so i was busting my buns to make one painting in three hours and like towards the end he's like yeah i'm like going a little slow on you guys like by the end of this course you guys should be able to get a good painting out in an hour i was like what i was like are you serious right now bro did you just join no i went to a painting class today here, wait, let me zoom in. So, like, we were, like, painting based off of pictures. Wait, sorry, I think my phone's just, like, too bright. We were painting based off of pictures, so, like, oh, you can't really see. But, anyways, he, uh, my professor just was like, yeah, just start throwing paint down. And he did this in, like, literally five minutes. Like, he was fucking Bob Ross. Obviously, if you zoom in, you can, like, it's he, he didn't put details in. But still, it's, like, f from far away, like, that looks like a painting. Like, that, that looks legit. Like, I, I don't know. So... I don't know if I want to show you guys my painting. <laughs> Bro, I was wa I was looking around the class like everyone's paintings like like people like, I don't know. Wait, let me show you. Let me get the picture that I was like basing my painting off of. Um, need to practice a bit by yourself. Well, I'm, I need to like learn. I was literally being like, how, how do I paint a tree? Like, I don't even know. I brought a little notebook with me, you know, I had to, I had to sketch my thing out first. I try, I started taking notes, but then I was like, I look like a clown because no one else was taking notes, but like, I'm a note taker. If I'm learning something, I feel like I gotta take notes, but anyways, whatever. Um, so this was my... This was my picture that I was, I decided to try and paint. This is, this is how my painting came out. I had to leave it at the class because, um, it had to dry. Oil painting takes a long time to dry. Why is like the camera not picking this up? But yeah, I think I didn't do, honestly, like if I just like, if I just go like this, it looks really good. <laughs> guys, guys, this is my painting that I did. Like, wow, woohoo, don't focus too much on it. <laughs> when you're like far away from it, it like d looks kind of decent. But if you like get up close, you can see that I was just like, I had no idea what was going on. I had no, I had no idea what was going on, but I tried, I tried my best. <laughs> um, I had to, uh, yeah, I don't know. So yeah, I've basically TLDR, my old, my old painting class, I think it went pretty good, but yeah, I'm definitely very intimidated because everyone seen, everyone there seemed to have like decades of experience. Although there was like a few other people that were kind of, that were kind of beginners like me. Maybe like, well, maybe like one, there was actually, I, I take that back. There was one. There was one person who was like, oh yeah, like I don't have an art background. I'm like, okay, a homie, okay, a homie. He's like, yeah, I've just been taking classes for the past like year and a half or two years. And I'm like, 
So nobody was at the level that I was at. Like I was by far like the most inexperienced person there. But, but it's fine because you know, I'm gonna be amazing it soon enough. <laughs> I just feel like I felt, well, cause like, I feel like it, it wasn't really a, uh, this is how you're gonna paint. Like, cause everyone, so everyone like chose different pictures to paint. And I feel like that made it hard. Like I was like, oh, like I kind of wish like we were all painting the same picture. So you could be like, oh, when you're painting this tree part right here. Cause I had to keep calling the teacher over and be like, oh, like how, sh how do I paint these rocks? <laughs> like, like I don't, I have no, don't know anything. I don't know anything, but it was still good. Yeah, that was my first oil painting ever. I've only painted with like acrylic paint before that. And I liked the oil a lot better though, because like acrylic paint dries really fast so you gotta like work fast but like oil painting takes forever to dry that's why i had to leave my painting there because it takes so long to dry but it makes it so that you have like longer working times and stuff um ooh, jpeg thank you so much for the tier one i appreciate that happy three months painting stream incoming after i finish my course hopefully because i mean I mean, homeboy said that I should be able to get a painting done in an hour. And I'm like, oh my God, that means like we could totally do painting streams. Cause I don't know if you guys know, like, or like if you've been to a painting stream of mine before, I've literally, I will literally spend like five, six hours doing a painting. So if I could just become a faster painter, I think that would even be, I would be happy with that. Cause but I don't know. I just, I feel like I need to like watch some YouTube videos or something because I feel like I don't even have the basic knowledge and like I should probably do that <laughs> really does look nice thanks hopefully like my next class I'll be working better with it but yeah I mean if you if I just I'll just like hang this up like in a really far away like really high up in my apartment so that nobody can look at it close up but yeah, first oil painting ever. Woohoo! The class was like three hours. Loki, my. I was like so tired afterwards, actually, because I also worked out this morning. I went to a class. I went to a bar class, which, if you've ever done bar class, those are very difficult. So yeah, I went to a freaking hardcore ass workout this morning. And then I came back here, did some work. Um, and then. And then I went to my oil painting class for like three hours and I did like, I was like standing the whole time I was painting. And then I came back here, I took a nap because I was dead. Like I was hoping to stream like early. Like I was hoping to get like a good stream in, whatever. It's like 8 p.m. So it's fine. Um, but tomorrow, tomorrow I will be streaming, but I also need to cl deep clean my apartment. My apartment's so messy right now. I've been like so busy the past few days. I'm like, ugh. I have very little experience. I only spent around 20 years studying Renaissance. Renaissance art? No, literally, that's what it felt like. That's literally what it felt like when I was sitting in that class. But, I mean, I don't know. Like, I guess... Because, I, I don't know. I guess I thought... Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it makes sense because the class is during the day. So, it just was a lot of, like, retired people. Because I was like, oh, if there was, like, other... You know, like, I feel like if I took it, like, in the evening time, like, not during work hours, basically, there probably would have been, like, more, like, younger people, which I feel like would have varied. But it's like, okay, if you have, like, you know, a 60-year-old in a painting class, chances are they've, like, painted in their life before versus if you have, like, a 23-year-old like me in a painting class, you know? Bar class is in barbell? No, B-A-R-R-E, bar. Uh, TBF, you read chat while painting on stream? I guess that's true. I guess that's true. Yeah, but I think that'd be fun. I could do I could do like painting streams and then we could do like we could like auction them off or something. I feel like that would be fun. That'd be like a fun little stream activity and then people could get some art. Hee <laughs> hee. Um sounds like such a fun day. It would it it was fun, but it was I was definitely very tired. Um but I really was determined to get a stream in, so I figured that we could just do some like cozy gaming. I, Baldur's Gate 3, yeah. I've been actually really into Polya. I thought about like <laughs> I thought about overriding your guys' Twitter poll and just like playing Polya. But then I was watching Claire stream and she was talking about Baldur's Gate and she's already on Act 2 and I'm like, "Bitch, I'm on Act 2. What the fuck?" I guess she's been grinding it the past week um so so yeah so now i'm like okay and she was saying and she was talking about how she fucked gail and i was like oh um how have i still not fucked anyone so yeah basically we're trying to we're trying to fuck tonight okay if we play Baldur's gate tonight well i'm trying to fuck okay we're getting naked if you read the title like i'm trying to get down and dirty 
<laughs> uh, um, yeah, happy Wednesday. Yeah, now all these old heads think you're a boss ass bitch who's retired young. <laughs> I don't know what the, I don't know what everyone's thinking. Everyone was so nice though. Like people were like chatting. I I I did feel bad though because like I was obviously like I wanted to like go to this class to make friends and like I wanted to chat. But like I reached a point like towards the end I was like starting to get stressed out because I was like fuck like I'm nowhere near done with my painting. Like the class is gonna be over in like 30 minutes and so like that's when like everyone was like kind of chilling. Other people were like done with their paintings and I was like stressing like trying to get as much done as I could before the class finished. So hopefully next time. <laughs> Hopefully next time I'm not like working till the last minute and I can kind of like hang out and chat with people afterwards, but but it was fun um, I think it was a good experience and even though I was definitely like the least experienced one there I feel like it was motivating because I was like, oh Like I don't know. I have a lot to learn. I have very far to go and obviously I have so many amazing people Amazing artists that I can learn from around me. Woohoo um Desperately buying BG3 as we speak. Bro, I have not gotten to fuck literally anyone. And meanwhile, motherfuckers out here talking about they've fucked multiple people in the game. I don't know what's going on. I have no Riz. I have no Riz in Baldur's Gate, unfortunately. <laughs> they made it harder to do that. It used to be super easy. What? To do the down and dirty? Well, Claire was Claire's been playing for like literally only like a week or something. But to be fair, I feel like when we were playing Baldur's Gate, like my streams were so sporadic. I want to start, I definitely want to start streaming more, but I don't know, like, I just feel like life, like, is just, there's a lot, like, <sighs> there's just so much going on with life. <laughs> I feel like when I do a gaming stream, it's like, I want to be able to have, like, six hours minimum. <laughs> um, are you killing everyone for their stuff? Um, what do you mean? I think, well, we killed the goblin camp. So we did kill that one girl that I guess could have been on our team. I mean, the drow. She was like a drow, what, paladin? I don't know. She was like in the goblin camp. She was like evil. We killed her. I, I killed her and I took her clothes. And now that's my outfit. Because it's a baddie fit. Um, I also, I'm like, I don't know if Lazel, I don't know if she's ever going to join our party. If I don't get, La if I didn't get Lazel to join my party at the very start of the game, is she like never going to be able to join? I think I just like didn't find her when the ship wreck, whatever. But yeah, I don't know. I, I don't have her. But everyone else I think I have in my party. I kind of like our party makeup. Okay, wait, now I'm getting excited to play. We haven't played PG3 in so long, guys. Oh my gosh. I feel like I'm going to be like out of, out of sorts. That's when everyone else finished the test and you're still on question four. <laughs> Literally. Um, bar, so like a ballet body weight thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like pretty, yeah, it's actually really hard. <laughs> Every time I do a bar class, I'm so sore afterwards. I'm gonna be super sore tomorrow, I already know. Hooking up in BG3, used to be as soon as you talked to someone, you could do it. What? I played, I played when it, well, I guess I didn't play right when it came out. But I was trying, bro. I, I think we're done with Act 1. We're about to be in Act 2. I'm about to go through the mountain pass. That's Act 2, right? When it's like, oh, if you go on, make sure you finish everything in this area. That means I'm about to enter Act 2, right? Yeah, I don't know. It took me so long to, to get through Act 1. But, uh, okay, okay. I'm trying not to get caught up on this because I'm like, okay, girly pop, you were only doing like one to two gaming streams a week when you were working, so. But now... Hopefully a lot more streams, definitely gaming streams uh, coming in the future, but I don't know. I just feel like, I don't know. <laughs> Did you have a big post-workout meal up your protein? I had a little ham and Swiss sandwich, but then I didn't eat before I went to my class, which was also a bad move because I was starving. Um... I love when you get more ass in video games than in real life. So like any video game where I can get ass. Yeah, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Bro, I just wish that like, I don't even know. Cause I've never like, I've n I have not gotten to do the do with anyone in, in BG3. So I, I won't speak on it yet. Have there been other video games where I've gone? I feel like the only other video games I've played where you can like get with people is like Stardew Valley where you like have to court someone for like multiple years and then you can marry them. And then randomly they will ask you if you want to have a child, wink, wink, and then you might get pregnant. 
But that's about it. I don't think I've ever played like, oh, just kidding. Just kidding. Mass Effect. Mass Effect. We gotta, we gotta get some, we gotta do the dirty in Mass Effect. That was fun. Wait. Did we even like get anyone good though? Didn't we just get Caden or whatever the f whatever that fuck ass guy's name was? Oh, true Sims, true Sims. Okay, Sims is definitely they do be fucking. Yeah, they no sorry, they be woohooing. They do be woohooing. <laughs> oh shit. Okay, wait, hold on, hold on. I totally forgot. Let's do let's do go live tweet. Oh, let's just uh, do I have anything to promo? <laughs> nope. Uh, so we're just gonna do my socials. I need to change. Okay, pinned, pinned chat message. Woohoo. Now let's do our going live tweet. Should I wear my glasses? I don't know where they are. I feel like this is, whenever I wear black, I always feel like my glasses look, oh, I think they're actually in my bag. I had to bring them with me to class. I was actually so excited when I was going to my painting class. I was like, oh my God, I'm going to class. I'm going to school, I have my backpack. I was like packing my pencils and stuff. Oh my God, it made me realize how much I loved being a student and how much I miss it, Loki. I'd go back to school. Ew. Sorry, let me, uh. Let's add a little bit of gloss. I'm looking. I don't know what I'm looking like. It's this darn light. I wish that I could. I wish it wasn't so bright, but I feel like it gives me a headache when I just turn it towards me even a little bit. Why is this? Okay, that was a mistake. Okay, I'm just gonna back up. I'm not a fan of the way that I'm looking right now. Ding. Is it my hair? Okay. <laughs> um, doo -doo -doo -doo. PSA, wear protection in BG3 when you do the nasty. Hell nah. There ain't no STDs in BG3, so shit, fuck it. <laughs> um, I don't think I've watched you play this. You haven't? I feel like I was playing it a lot. Well, it was during my subathon, honestly. Um, what do you want to study if you went back to school? Honestly, probably like philosophy or some shit. Like some, like if I'm not going to, like if I feel like I was like just going to school to study something and not like have to use that degree to get a job, I feel like I would probably do like philosophy. I did really like psychology, but I wouldn't want to take like neuroscience or anything, which usually are included in in psychology majors. Um, I wouldn't want to. I wouldn't want to do anything where I have to do labs. Hell no. Um, or like physics, like I feel like I really like, like science. I did really like science, but I don't know. I don't know if I'd want to study like a science because I hated doing labs in science classes. I just want to sit in a desk and ha and be lectured at. I don't know why, but that's like always been my preferred method of learning. Um, philo but yeah, my my favorite class that I took in college was I took a philosophy class for like some gen ed and it was so cool and just so interesting and the great thing about philosophy is that there is no right or wrong answer you know like it's all just like oh who knows maybe but maybe not <laughs> like i feel like that'd be it. like i would just be showing up philosophy is literally just arguing with motherfuckers like i would just be showing up and just you're just art you just show up and you just argue with motherfuckers that's what philosophy is and you know what that sounds great that sounds great i am very yep yeah. sign me up okay i feel like this light because it's like focusing on my mic it's ma it made all of these all of these look bad maybe this maybe this is fine I'm giving I'm giving a little side eye in this, but she's kind of cute. It's it's blurry for some reason, but I guess that's fine. 
Actually, no, I don't know if it's fine, actually. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Just fucking... Sorry, I'm raging right now. I'm raging a bit. <sighs> um, your hair isn't cutting it, you should shave it all off. Okay. I do want to try and cut my own hair though, actually. Um, mine would either be physics or law. I did really like the business law class that I took. Yeah, if I was like going, if I had to use the degree, I feel like I would do law because I feel like law was really interesting, but I feel like that's like a very practical degree for me. Like, I feel like if I did, if I studied law, like I would want to practice law. Like I got this law degree, like a bitch, I better, I might as well just be a fucking lawyer, you know? Um, oh my goodness. I don't know what to do about this light, guys. I'm angry. <laughs> like, I don't like how it's looking. Okay, I'm just gonna- I'm just gonna go with this. Fuck it. Fuck it! Um... No, because it's giving me a headache! Okay, sorry. It's not fine, actually. This light is not fine. At all. I'm just gonna completely unplug it. But then I only have this light. Oh my god. I do have like, I have this overhead light that I use when I'm trying to like write stuff on my desk. Nope, I hate that. I hate that so much. Yeah, but it's giving me a fucking headache with it on. I know it's better when it was on, but it's literally giving me a fucking headache. <laughs> Having a bright ass light shined directly into your eyes doesn't feel great. Don't know if, don't know if you know that. Not, didn't know if that, like, it's not pleasant. If you were unsure if a direct, if a bright ass light shining directly into your eyeballs was a pleasant sensation or not, um, it's not, you know, just FYI. I reset it. Wait, what is what does it mean when it says S slash N? Serial number? Where the fuck is the IP address? Like, I don't even understand where I'm supposed to find an IP address on a freaking ring light. I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't understand. Oh my god! Sorry guys, I, I hate this. I hate... I feel like I am... For a girl who, for a girly pop who worked in tech, I feel like I really be struggling with technology at times. Okay, I'm gonna... Let's, let's try... I'm using... I'm opening task manager. And I'm ending the Elgato Control Center. Ended. Okay, wait, hold on. Going live, tweet is tweeted. Woohoo! Um, IP is given by router and appears in router settings. No, it's asking for the IP address of the ring light, not of the, wait, what? I know, I know like I can find. Yeah, it's asking for the IP address of the ring light. Do I have the devices list on my router? What do you mean on my router? My router doesn't have any kind of screen or anything. I don't, I don't understand. I just opened devices and I'm not even seeing either of the the lights like some kind of address 
What address? I'm seeing nothing. I'm seeing nothing. I would much- Okay, Elgato, I'm gonna fucking kill you. Unless you wanna sponsor me and send me a fixed ring light for free. So it's like, here. It's like showing up. Showing up right here. And then, oh. <laughs> and then, entering the Wi-Fi password. And it's not working. no user interface it's literally just a box there's no on the login web page for your router I just get stuck on here You guys even hear me? No, it's not far. I'm just giving up on this. Let me see if I can move this light.
Alrighty. Alrighty. Networking is a pain. Technology issues are just the worst because it's just like, it's just abstract, it feels like. This is why I couldn't work a very technical job in, in tech. I said, I said, give, I pulled up and I said, give me your least technical job. <laughs> I said, give me that tech sal salary without having to do tech stuff, please. And they said, okay. <laughs> ah, okay, anyways, chat. I also got Taco Bell earlier today because I was so tired after my class. I was like, I'm not freaking cooking. And because I got Taco Bell. And of course, my drink comes in the ice. The, it must, must have been full of ice because it tasted so watered down. Oh, wait. Hold on. Let me change. I think I have this on the wrong one. New value menu tomorrow? Oh, I was like, I didn't see any new items. I still have some of my cheesy gordita crunch from earlier. <laughs> the industrial revolution and its consequences. I think these are the consequences of the, of the, not the industrial revolution, the, the computational revolution. Is there like a word for like computers? Cause obviously industrial is like machines, right? Didn't, wouldn't we have, aren't, hmm. <laughs> like there's gotta be a word for like when computers were invented, right? Similar to like into some kind of technological revolution? No. Information age? Yeah, I feel like the information age is more about like the internet though, which I guess is true. What's your opinion on technological process just for the sake of it slash profit motive? I am gonna need you to elaborate on what you mean by that. I don't think that there's really anything such as technological progress just for the sake of it. I think it's fun to push the boundaries of what humanity can be capable of. Why the fuck not? And hopefully you discover stuff that helps humanity along the way. Mm. Now I have Taco Bell sauce all over my hands. <laughs> no, I got this Taco Bell like, well, maybe like an hour ago. Like kind of right before stream. <laughs> hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Use ChatGPT every day. I never really got behind the chat GBT hype. My work was trying to have me use it a lot though. <laughs> um, and I did, and I did because, because basically as soon as we had, it was like an internal chat GBT one. I don't know, I don't know how, how, I don't know what made it internal exactly, but like I started getting, my, my manager started telling me doing stuff that was way above my, pre, my pay grade. I was like, bro, I just graduated college. I don't know how to write a whole cybersecurity testing strategy for this bank. Like, what do you mean? Like, <laughs> like oh, just, just use, just use the, the GPT. I'm like, okay. <laughs> yeah, so hopes and prayers to, to that. <laughs> Computers have gone too far. We must turn back. Hell no, nah, I like my gaming. I like my gaming. <laughs> Um, reminds me of Haydaker's essay on technology. Yeah, what was that? Should I write cybersecurity for them? Give me an, a billion dollars. Yeah, I was like, this is just like, can I at least get paid for this type of work? Even though, like, technically it's the GPT doing it. Like, this, this ain't, this ain't in my pay grade to be doing this shiz. Um...
Okay. Um. Hi, thirsty. What are we gonna do? Um. Yeah. We're gonna play. We're gonna play Baldur's Gate. I was gonna chat with you guys for like ten more minutes. Normally, I like to do about an hour of chatting. Oops. Sorry. <laughs> I don't like to do about like an hour of chatting because because I feel like when I'm gaming, I'm not always able to read chat as much. Ugh. I'm using my old chair as well. Should I use my new chair? It was pissing me off that I couldn't recline in it. I think I think I'm gonna try and attach some weights to the back of it. I thought it like, what if I got some guys? If, tell me, t I feel like this would work. Um, what if I just bought some ankle weights and I attached it to the back of them, a back of it, so that I would be able to tilt back. I don't see why that would- why that wouldn't work, honestly. <laughs> like, cuz- cuz I don't weigh enough to- to lean back in it. But I feel like if I just put some, like, hefty ankle weights, like, Velcro those motherfuckers on the back right here. You know? You know what I mean, Jellybee? move this chair out of here. Ugh. I need to have a deep cleaning day for my apartment tomorrow. It's uh, it's been a come a mess. Why don't you return it for a different chair? Um because there's no other chair. Okay, basically I can no longer return it. Okay, I can only exchange it for a different for a different chair, and there's no other chair that ha has a headrest, basically. If you go on the Herman we Meller website, you will see that all of their ergonomic chairs have no headrest, which doesn't even make fucking sense to me. Anyways, yeah, I've just I've just already decided that I'm just taking this fat L with this with this chair. But I feel like the weights will work. Like I feel like it'll work. Like, cause the chair is good. It's just like I don't weigh enough for it. But yeah, I've already been, I'm already over it. They actually DM'd me on Twitter after I rage tweeted about it, which is exactly what I was hoping for. Maybe I, maybe I will respond to their DM. Hee 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 hee. <laughs> Guys, I need to become as clouded as possible on Twitter. So that way I can just like, anytime a brand tries to like, you know, I have a bad experience. I can just rage tweet about it and then they can DM me and be like, how can we make this situation right? We don't want all your followers to hate us. Sorry, is that evil of me? Is that maniacal of me? I'm also thinking though, if you're gonna be charging an arm and leg for a damn chair, come on, give me, give me some good customer service, baby. With no tension knob as wild, yeah, yeah, Judy, I'd agree with that. I'd fucking agree with that. But it's supposed to be like, oh, it's so much easier, hands-free, minimalistic design. Minimalism needs to die. Okay. Hot take of the day, minimalism, minimalism needs to go crawl in a grave and fucking die and pass away because I'm over it. I'm over it. Bring back maximalism, okay? I want to see buildings with crazy ass intricate carvings and designs. I want to see apartments and houses full of a bunch of little trinkets that accurately represent whoever's home it is. I, I just don't want to ever have to interact with any type of minimalistic anything ever again. Uh, chat, what do you think? Are you are you for or are you are you joining my anti-minimalism movement? As Scandinavian, you're just wrong. Are Scandinavians like minimalistic? Let's look up Scandinavian architecture. Arc arc Oh wow, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, y'all are. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Scandinavians for real invented that minimalistic... That, that, that design. Now I know. Now I know what all of uh, every American city is inspired by. <laughs> I was hoping to see some cool ass shit. It, suddenly it all makes sense. Suddenly the... 
The terrible home renovations I see all make sense. I just don't like, I just don't like this stuff. Yeah, I don't know. Why? Is there like a, like a, what's the reasoning behind like Scandinavian minimalism? That's what I Google when I build my, okay, bro. Like I could build this, I could build this in Minecraft. Like I want to see, I just want to see like cathedral. Let's look at, let's look at like, most beautiful cathedrals. I know they'd be going crazy. Like, yeah! 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 This is shit I want. This is shit I want. I, this is shit I want. I want them to be going crazy with it. <laughs> I want, I want all the details. I want all the details, all the points. What's like, what's another good architecture style? Gothic? What are different, gothic design? Yeah, we'll, we'll stick with buildings, architecture. Oh, yeah, that's kind of what we were looking at, right? Oh, wait, this looks scary. Hogwarts? Oh my God, it's AI. <laughs> um. I do really like, wait, how, bohemian architecture? Actually, I don't even know. I feel like I like the, okay, it's kind of, I guess this is more like an interior design. Oh, I don't know. I kind of like it. What's like, um, I feel like I don't really know different arch, what are different, can I type? Architecture, different architecture types. Hobbit. I like that type. Oh, this looks pretty cool. I like this. What's this? Oh, I like, I like this. This one's pretty cute too. I guess architecture styles are different than like interior designs. Oh, I like these. Damn, I better be rich as fuck so I could have a nice house one day. <laughs> Me, whenever I'm like dreaming about my future home, damn, I better be rich as hell. <laughs> um, Asian influence architecture. Ooh, I feel like temples and like places of worship are so, always so beautifully decorated. I wish like every place was like that. I've actually started to fall in love with like the architecture in Chicago. Every time I walk around now, I'm always like looking at all the buildings and stuff. How do I, let's, can I pull up my Pinterest? <laughs> oh, I, I've started, my friends and I were like talking about weddings and stuff. So I've started, I've started, I've started basically being like, damn, I should probably think about what I want my wedding to look like. Cause I feel like I've never given a fuck. <laughs> I've never given a fuck, but uh, I need, I should start. Here, do you guys want this? I have a few pins. Oh, this is, <laughs> these are all the pins I have in my future home one. This is the vibe I'm going for though. I don't know what you would call this farmhouse, but also kind of cozy. Wait, I don't feel like this is doing, why do I only have six pins? Is that correct? <laughs> all right, I need to get back on my Pinterest grind, clearly. I had a lot for my, oh, this is my stream room inspo. This is my inspo for my stream room. I feel like I did a kind of good job. I don't know. Very like cute, cute. That's the only word, cute. <laughs> There's a cool ceiling mosaic at Shah Mosque in Iran. I need to go, I, I wanna travel so I can visit. Like when I was in Thailand, we went to so many cool temples. Like I really wanna go and like, I just wanna travel more. I wanna travel more. I feel like, I feel so jealous because I feel like a lot of my friends like got to travel a lot when they were kids and I didn't. I feel like I started being able to travel when I turned like 18, but I don't know. I feel jealous of people that got to like grow up traveling. Did you get a grow up traveling chat? Let's do a poll. Did you take five or more 
international trips before you were 18. Yes or no? Because I need to know, like, is it common? Oh, also, to like five or more, well, actually, honestly, yeah. Did you take five or more international trips? I think I took approximately one, wait, no, two? I took two international trips before I took turned to 18, I believe. Five before 18, that is not common. Maybe I should have put like, well, I don't know, three. Well, we'll stick with five, because that's what I put. Didn't you do car road trips? Yeah, I drove- I drove from California to Illinois because my family was too- couldn't even afford the plane tickets. I will never forget. Like, literally, we would have a week off for Christmas, and we would drive- so we would literally- well, it would be like 10 days, because, you know, it would be like the two weekends and then the week in the middle. And so we- and we would literally drive to Illinois. Like, so it would be a two, it's like, it's a three day drive, two days if you don't sleep. And so we would do the two days. So we would literally spend four days driving total and only three days there. And I remember as a kid, I'd be like, what the fuck? Like, this is not how I want to be spending my winter break. But yeah, Americans travel international a lot less for some reason. Uh, that's because it's a lot more expensive. What do you mean for some reason? Do you know how big the U.S. is? Like, I feel like in the America, it's like traveling state to state is equivalent to a European going country to country. You're- that's a cr <laughs> Plus, and like the only two places we border are Canada and Mexico. Plus, if you're a part of the European Union, it's super easy for you to travel in between countries. As like, as an American, you have- it's like not as easy. Getting your passport can be kind of a pain in the ass. Yeah, four times, with, like, yeah, whenever, like, whenever Europeans say that, I'm like, I feel like, do Europeans not know how big the U.S. is, like, geographically? Like, bro, you could fit the whole, you could fit the, the whole U.S. over Europe. Like, y'all are tiny out there. <laughs> Once I, when I was sitting in my French class and I learned that you can drive across all of France in four hours, I was like, yeah, I stopped. <laughs> <laughs> I just feel like that's just like, that's crazy. Like if I lived in Europe, hell yeah, I'd be traveling all the time. Like I feel like a European visiting other European countries is the same as an American traveling to other states. Cause geographically and stuff, it's like, and not to mention that since the US is geographically so big, like it, the different places within the US are huge. Like, like the, the difference between the lifestyle in New York as compared to the lifestyle in Nashville, different. The d lifestyle in LA compared to Miami, eh, I guess a little more similar. Those two places aren't, well, actually, no, I feel like they are actually pretty different. But like geographically, since it's so big, it's basically like whole different cultures within the U within the US, you know? Kaylee Europe rant? Okay, well, maybe, I, maybe I'm just, maybe I'm just raging a little because I, I feel like Europeans be so judgmental and just be talking shit about America all the time, but like, yeah, so basically, fuck y'all too! <laughs> Europeans are always on their high horse towards us. Those memes though, wait. Have you guys seen those memes of like, people being like, oh, like British pe British food looks gross. And then it's like a picture of a fish with like teeth. And I'm like, well, at least one not get a shot in skirt. <laughs> Bro, those are cracking me up. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <sighs> um, I've only been at NYC once, so I have no idea how America is. Yeah, I triple, I guess if you, if you're a European and you consider yourself a traveler, I triple dog dare you to, to do a road trip from LA to New York. 
You would get to see so much of the country, though. But even, like, doing a road trip, because I did a road trip from L.A. to Chicago, and, like, all the different, like, biomes and, like, areas and stuff that you pass through, it is really crazy. I feel like growing up, I don't know, I guess I didn't really, like, think about it that much, but now I'm, like, I feel like I want to travel to so many places in the U.S. (gasps) I'm going to get to visit the Redwood Forest this year, which I feel like is going to be so cool, because my brother, he, uh, he's going to... I don't, he's gonna be graduating from college, so I'm gonna go visit him. <laughs> I'm excited. I told him I'm like I'm gonna come. I'm either I either want to come early or I want to stay late after grad before after grad weekend, so that way I can like do stuff in the area. But that's been on my bucket list for a while. I really want to go to Yosemite. What are some other cool places in the U.S. Chat. What's your favorite? Your coolest? Like the coolest place you've ever been to in the U.S. I want to know. British people are just European Americans. <laughs> you know, yeah, I, I guess to be fair, I don't know. Loki though, Loki, I feel like I have the most beef with with, friend, with the French. Although I do respect their willingness to riot at anything. I respect the hell out of that. But I feel like French people are rude and judgmental as hell. And like anytime I've interacted with a French person, IRL, it's literally like the worst experience ever. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I feel like French people are just mean. Like, I don't know. Um, British food can be kind of boring slash bland for sure. Is shepherd's pie British though? Because they ate with that one. They ate with that one. Whoever invented shepherd's pie, they, they ate. They ate. They cooked and then they ate, you know? I did a road trip from San Diego to Canada and also San Diego to Florida. Oh, San Diego to Florida is crazy. Were you in the South the whole time? That'd be pretty crazy. I feel like going... Like, I feel like a really good road trip, you like, LA, you go through whatever is there. What's what's that state under Nevada? Oh my God, I don't even know. Is it Utah? Where the fuck is Utah, bro? I can never remember where Utah is. Anyways, where you like go like that, you go like do do into Colorado. You get to drive through all the mountains and stuff. The only part kind of sucks is once you get to the Midwest, it's just a flash. It's cornfields. Nothing to see for a little bit there. Um, <laughs> New, Me- New Mexico. New Mexico. I feel like the a lot of the southern states kind of blur together. Like, I feel like I know my the northern half of the U.S. really well, but, like, the very southern states, sometimes I get those. Like, you know, like, Alabama, Georgia, like, those three states right above Florida. I feel like since they're all shaped the same. Because I feel like I know what every state is, like, shaped like. So, like, all the states that are shaped very similarly, I feel like I get confused. British colonized the world for spices and then never used them. Shut up. Bro, no, the beans on toast is what get me gets me. Don't they also, like, pea soup or something? I don't really know. But, yeah, I feel like British food looks really... just It just looks unappetizing. Like, I feel like they need to work on their presentation. <laughs> um... The Redwood Forest is dope. I'm so excited. I just feel like it'll be so cool to just, like, stand in the trees. I'll vlog it. I'll vlog it. Don't worry, guys. So you guys better follow my YouTube. Hopefully travel content coming this year. Woo woo. Um, I didn't vlog this past trip, though, because it was my friend's birthday. And I feel like I'll, like, vlog stuff if it's, like, a trip. But if it's, like, someone's birthday, like, I want the focus to be on them for the night. I don't want to be, like, busting out a camera or whatever, you know? Um... I crack up with British people say, in it. No, I think the one that would always get me was like, snog- snoggin. Or I don't know, I, I like try- I watch like Too Hot to Handle and they would just like say the weirdest shit. Or they'd be like, you know, we, we don't really be bantering. We don't really- wait, what? what's like- they have like a different word for flirting. Is it banter? Or something? I don't know. I can't even remember. <laughs> give you a real snoggin. Yeah, I don't know. British- Honestly, though, I feel like Britain deserves all the smoke because they were, like, wreaking havoc on the world for way too long. So, I don't feel bad hating on hating on Britain a little bit. <laughs> they deserve all the smoke! Um, I get British Australian accents. Oh, I cannot do accents. I'm like, I don't even know. Nar! <laughs> the, only, the only word I can say with an Australian accent. Nar! Nar! I can't think of a single other word. Like, what does an Australian accent even sound like to me? Honestly, I feel like I don't really notice accents. I told you guys this, right? How, like, I was literally in a class, in a class project, 
with a girl for a whole semester. And then at the end of the semester, I found out, she said something about her being from Britain. So I found out she was British basically. And I was like, wait a minute, what? Like she was an exchange student from Britain. I was like, wait a minute, what? And then after she said that, I like started listening to like how she was speaking. And I was like, oh my God, like she's had a British accent this entire semester and I didn't even notice it. Like, I feel like I will not notice someone having an accent unless it's like, it makes it difficult to understand them. I don't know what that means. I used to think it was because I was tone deaf or something. Maybe I am. <laughs> My tone deaf? What does it mean if you just like, don't even recognize the fact that people have accents? <laughs> I will never, I will never notice someone having an accent unless it's like making it difficult to understand them. Uh, mushy peas. I do like peas, to be honest, though. But I remember I was watching some video of some girl showing off some British meal, and I was like, yeah, that looks gross. <laughs> they go too crazy with it. The accents are pretty English easy to distinguish. I do watch this one girl who, um, or this Pilates girl who's Australian. Move with Nicole. I don't know, though. I can't. I don't really know what an Australian accent sounds like. I'll just imagine it sounds similar to British. Oh my God, we're nine minutes late. Oh my God, this is cutting into my Baldur's Gate three time. Let me boot it up. Boot it up, boot it up, ayo. Oh my God, guys, we haven't played in so long. Wait, what? This game has native support for Steam input. The system Steam uses to translate your physical inputs. With native support, your layout will show game actions instead of generic commands. These games will often contain action sets, different control schemes that are used during different parts of the game. Wait, I don't... This means you'll be able to fully customize every part of the game to suit your preferences, but only if you choose to. The default layout provided by the game's developer will just work. What does that mean? I feel like I, I, don't, I didn't understand a look of that. Guys, do I use native support or do I just... Goodbye, lo-fi beats. Do I have a Baldur's Gate 3 scene? Oh, I do. Hold up, hold up. Wait, why is this like... I do game capture? 